I want you all to think back to that first day of practice. Are you the same nervous freshman that you were that day? I would argue that all of you are not. Being a student athlete has given us a unique opportunity to make connections with people that will last a lifetime. These connections are made on the field, of course, but even more so during the bus rides, the team dinners in the dining hall, and after every triumph and every challenge. Your teammates count on you as much as you count on them and have helped to make you the best version of yourself. Our coaches have pushed us, whether we liked it or not, to be the very best we can be, both on and off the field. And every member of the athletic department team has been there to cheer us on and pick us up. We've enjoyed unprecedented growth, both academically and athletically. You have all been a part of that growth, those successes, and new beginnings. You have enlivened the good, smart, and talented motto of our athletic department. You have triumphed both on and off the field, and today we celebrate you. Together we found a way to flourish through our programs and make some of the most challenging moments that many of us have experienced in our lifetimes. To have chosen to remain dedicated to not only our educations, but our professions and our patients. And to bravely continue on our paths, onto the front lines, underscores, an ever-growing embodiment. We, the people whose work is to care and to do so deeply, are needed more than ever. Your achievements individually and collectively have been great. Your graduation really is a victory. A victory for the college, your faculty, a victory for your families, but most importantly, a victory for you. A victory that has been met with many opportunities, a set of circumstances that make it possible to do something. At a time when this world is lonelier, more isolated, more divided than ever. You will bring connection and joy and a sense of belonging wherever you go. You are about to take on one of the world's most challenging jobs, but for sure, one of the most fulfilling ones. Never underestimate the power and influence you bring with you from this day forth. A broad general level education has always been about shaping the way we think, sharpening our abilities to ask hard questions, interrogating the world as we find it, and learning to connect with other human beings to create a world we want to find. Science, math, painting, music, poetry, novels have all offered human beings solace and uncertainty. It is literally impossible for me to recount a single fond memory I have earned here at Fisher without including the names of some of the greatest people I've come to know. Similarly, I cannot explain to you how I made it to this stage today without the assistance of my friends, family, professors, or Dean Fellow literally showing me where the stage is. Continue to embrace those around you while you can, as time is short and life seems to find a way to visit you. Be patient and just keep swimming. Love and be proud. A true knowledge is born out of having curiosity. A true interest in constantly learning each and every day. And also sharing your knowledge with others. Uh, certainly that has been the case with so many people around me. And just like you have done to get to this point, apply it and share it. And not only will you do well for yourselves, but you will contribute to making the world a better place. I truly mean that. From our Basilian motto, teach me goodness, discipline, and knowledge. Living those values and relying on your Fisher network and strategically expanding that network will ensure your happiness and success in and out of the boardroom. Class of 2022, you have inspired many groups of your shareholders, like our faculty. Thank you for your extraordinary return on investment and dividends that have been anything but ordinary. Another big shareholder group is your family. 
Thank you to the parents of the class of 2022. You are our favorite LLC business partners. St. John Fisher College can be seen as the tree in which we all live and sit in excitement for the day we get to soar through the clouds. We each pick our own branch. Some of us become nurses, educators, scientists, and business professionals. We don't care about the height of each branch, who has the most leaves, the best view, the most protection from harm, or if another cardinal finds better building materials. Because as one, we all help build our future together. I was once a small, scared cardinal who found the courage to unfold her wings and become a member of the strongest flock to ever exist. The St. John Fisher School of Business is not only filled with the most powerful future leaders of the business world, but individuals who have learned to embrace every element of their nest, every storm cloud put in their path, and an appreciation for every feather placed within their wings throughout the years that had allowed them to fly. No one has made it to graduation alone. You had parents, significant others that have supported you emotionally and or financially, a professor who inspired you, mentored you, and supported you. Gratitude is never a virtue that is wasted. For that reason, I'd like to ask all of the graduates to stand, turn toward the audience, and give a round of applause to those who helped you on this journey. We made it. We made it to our programs at Fisher. We made it into the School of Education, Literature Reviews, and more. We've made it through some version of field placements, whether that be internships, practicums, or student teaching. And now we've made it to graduation. But on those days when I didn't know if I was quite enough to be an effective teacher, the thing that kept me in it was quite frankly the students. To go into placement every day and work with these kids and watch them grow and flourish as individuals was phenomenal. I could never have imagined the profound impact that not only we could have on those two students as educators, but that they could have on us. We have been given the tools we need to help the coming generations grow so that they can all go on to create a fantastic future for all of us. I sincerely hope the best for you and for all of your students. After four years of dedication, commitment, and adjusting to an unexpected pandemic, you have completed the requirements for your degree, and we are here to celebrate with you. We are proud, very proud, to bestow the presence of the Pantacta Michael Mendoza. Your degree communicates to others that you value knowledge, and that you honor its ability to shape how we think and feel, and indeed, how we ultimately contribute to the greater good in our world. Similarly, having this degree also implies that you can imagine the harm that misinformation can cause, especially when it runs contrary to your education and to the principles that your degree from St. John Fisher represents. And so today, with this recognition, I will pledge to you to recommit to this responsibility along your side. Today is in fact a commencement for both you and me. It would be an understatement to say that it's been a challenging journey. From orientation week to feeling like it would never end. To practicing injections on each other during immunization training. And finally, to this moment. We would first like to present the class of 2022's gift to the Wegman School of Pharmacy. When deciding what we'd like to contribute, there was a unanimous suggestion. Whatever it may be, let it be in honor of Joshua Sullivan. We hope this passion continues to inspire student pharmacists to go out to the world and make a difference.